for Fahel. Multiply by all the 18 letters in Barak's three names. It's 18 letters. Barack Hussein Obama is a total of 18 letters. The word hell. H is 8, E is 5, L is 12, and L is 12. We multiply 8 times 5 times 12 times 12. Excuse me. Shows 5, 7, 6, 0. 6, 7, 5. Barack Hussein Obama in reverse. Obama Hussein Barack reading from left to right clearly taken 37 the number equivalency for hell and multiplying that number by 18 you get 666, the number found inside Revelations 13, 18. See how that 7 looks like a 1? Revelations 13, 18 mentioned in the 666. Coincidentally, take a number of hell, which is 37 divided by 2. You get 185, which is the height of Barack Hussein Obama, 6'1", and centimeters is 185 centimeters. You find when you take 18.5 times 2. Takes you back to the word hell. Furthermore, taking 666 divided by 37, you see 18. Six plus six plus six is 18. 18 letters in total to make up all the letters of Barack Hussein Obama's. Three names. Eighteen letters in all. Coincidentally, two one six divided by all the letters of Barack one. Eighteen letters in Barack is one two hundred sixteen thirty years. Evenly divide. Eighteen evenly divide into two one six is no other than six six six. Multiply twelve times. 18, 216 divided by 18, 12, is 1. Taking the word hell, which is 5760, when multiply, divided by the word, the number of hell, 37, when added, shows inside the calculation, you can end in 18 letters that make up Barack Hussein Obama. Barack Hussein Obama, all the three number equivalencies, all the numbers equivalent to the letters in his name found inside the calculation two consecutive times, sequence of numbers two consecutive times, Connected with the word hell. And why would the word hell in English multiply? Show. Six letters that make up Barack's first name. Seven letters that make up his middle name, Hussein. And five letters that make up his last name, Obama. And coincidentally, taking 600, three score and six. 600 times 60 times six. Which is no other than... 216,000 divided by the number for hell, which is all the number equivalencies to Barack Obama, 5760, shows 37 in the beginning of the calculation. The number for hell in English. H. E. L. L. 
can add it to 37. Now we we'll multiply H E with E. Now we we'll multiply H E. I'm sure the month and day Barack was born. H4. And then Barack was born August 4th. H E L. L. So is that numbers in all three of the Rock names? Rock, Hussein, Obama. Where hell, when divided by all the 18 letters in Barack's name, three is the answer three two zero evenly. Three two zero zero everyone, I tell you, no other than this word. Adding a zero onto the end of the other zero takes you to the word death, D-E-A-T-H, when multiplies the three, two, zero, zero. And you can see in the beginning and the end of the word death, eight, four. The month and day Barack was born, 216th day of the year. Furthermore, taking the word death, 3200, divided by 666, do you not see everyone? The month and day Barack was born, August 4th, August 4th, August 4th, August 4th. How old was President Barack Obama when elected? Barack Obama was born on August 4th, 1961. Therefore, when he was elected, in November 2006 and when he took office in January 2009 he was 47 years old 47 is also the number for a beast another president was also 47 before it was Grover Cleveland was 47 years old when he was elected or a difference between Grover Cleveland and Barack Hussein Obama is Barack Hussein Obama was born on the 216th day of the year. And he is the 36. Grover Cleveland is not the 36. Grover Cleveland as I told you was not born the 216th day of the year as the 666 was born the 216th day of the year everyone. Well, Cleveland, as you can see, was born when, everyone? Well, Cleveland was born March 18, 1837, and lived to age 71 years old. There's nothing in Revelation 13, 18 in reference to Grover Cleveland because he was 47 years old as, as the president. He's the 24th president of the United States. But he is not Revelation 13, 18. Nor will ever be. Barack Hussein Obama is. Taking 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue divided by 216 shows 747474 7, 7, inside the compilation and reversed as 47, 47, 47, 47. Coincidentally, where B is B, B 
E A S T is 47. For found in Revelation 13, 18 for beasts, it's 47. Coincidentally, the word man, it was 13, A is 1, and N is 14, it's 28. Herein is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast was also the number of a man. Take the number for beast, 47. Multiply that by the number for man, 28. What do you see? Three six mentioned in Revelation 13.18. Mentions the three six. Coincidentally, the word beast in English and the word man in English, ordinal gematria, multiply, show three six. In Revelation 13 18 is talking about three six. And coincidentally, three six, the body of our three six, that answer divided by three six shows on the beginning and in, in the beginning and end of the calculation three six. The greatest map minds that ever was could not get you, Barack Obama, out of this mathematical equation. Not all the computers that Bill Gates can make, not all the intelligence that made the internet, not all the intelligence of man can just prove the fact that you are the 3 6. Look at the end of the calculation. 6-5, Barack Obama. Look at the beginning of the calculation. Barack Obama. When you are president no more, age 55. Undoubtedly, that's why when you take 13-18 and divide it by the number for beasts, which is 47, come back with the number for man what God is saying is the same and when he says 47 he's talking about a beastie man he's talking about someone like Nebuchadnezzar in, Revelate, in, in, in the book of Daniel that's no other but you the 44th ruler of Mystery Babylon Barack Hussein Obama you were 47 years old when you took the throne Two times eight is sixteen. Your height in reverse is six one. That's why when you take thirteen eighteen divided by your height, it shows the day you were born, two one six. That's why when you take thirteen eighteen. Talk about the three six. And you divided by the day you was born. It shows your height you will be in centimeters someday, 185 centimeters. And it shows on the big on the end of the calculation, 191961. 1961. It's talking about no other than you. Mr. Barack Hussein Obama. As sure as 600. Three score. See when I get to the six. Three six. Isn't Barack added three six. Sixty. And six. Shows the day you were born. But if I cover up that too, you see the address of the White House. But you were president for eight years, sir. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. 
No wonder. No wonder when you take 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and divide it by 36, so it shows the number of your presidency. 44th president. One, two, three, four, five times. Do this again. 44, 44, 44, 44, 44. Aren't you the 44th president of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue? That's why taking 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue multiplied by 6, you see the triangular 666. What does it show? The middle, the center, the very center of the year we was born, 1961. Barack Obama. Clearly, your height is six one. And you were born August fourth, nineteen sixty one. You are the forty fourth president. Or you were the forty fourth president. One thing you overlook, sir was the fact that God knew who you were before there was an America. No wonder you are red like the dragon. It takes the 6-6 six, six to expose the 3-6. I know precisely who you are. Six one, one point eighty five meters. What calculation in this video did I show your height exactly? As God has shown me. Mr. Barack Hussein Obama. God and the angels of heaven are coming after you in America. That is the message that you get from all this. You may be able to deceive man, but you and Mystery Babylon America will never be able to deceive God. You read the book of Daniel. United States is no other than the feet of that image. United States is no other than Mystery Babylon. You, Mr. Barack Hussein Obama, is no other than Revelations 13 18. I have the understanding. like to enlighten the world about Le Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 sir you who are a writer of books audacity of hope dreams from my father who really is your father Who are you really? One point eighty five meters. Making thirteen eighteen Revelation thirteen eighteen divided by the day you was born. Don't you see it in the calculation? One eighty five. One eighty five. One eighty five. Do we have to do anything with that? We 
चाहे